there's a lot of ingredients that go into a great column. Ideally, it's going to have new information, a new angle, a fresh take on something that is topical, that's of interest to lawyers and people in the legal profession. Um, also, I hope that it's enjoyable to read. I mean, I know most lawyers spend a lot of time reading things that are fairly dense, and my goal in writing a column is to provide information that is useful and interesting, but that also is enjoyable to read. I love to hear from readers, and I find that I get a fair amount of feedback. Um, they seem to really respond when sometimes I write about things that are a little bit more personal. Um, I have a son and a daughter. Sometimes I will mention them or my husband. Um, I think the column I wrote that got more feedback than any other was when I wrote about my mother-in-law who died last year. And she was an in-house lawyer at Citibank and um, sort of a pioneering woman lawyer on Wall Street who's Parents in small town Illinois were not particularly supportive of the idea of a woman going to law school in 1963, but she was a real inspiration to me. And so when I wrote about her, for example, um, I really got a tremendous number of notes from readers, which was just lovely. I joined Reuters because it seemed like an amazing opportunity. Um, I've spent more than 20 years as a legal journalist, um, starting first at the Recorder in San Francisco in, gosh, 1997, back when we made a hard copy newspaper every day. And over the years, there was great flexibility at the different legal publications where I work, Legal Times, National Law Journal, and most recently, the Litigation Daily. Um, and I really valued that while my kids were growing up, but then they grew up and <laughs> my daughter graduated from high school this year. And I really felt like this was a great time in my life to really be able to focus on work. And Reuters, which has such an amazing reputation for excellence, was incredibly appealing as a platform. Plus I knew a number of the people on the legal team over the years. And so I knew that there was this really impressive group of reporters and editors, and the thought of working with them was really appealing.